Hey everybody, we are on location today for a never before attempted Imagine It. I have Carl Nelson with me. We have our safety belts on. What are we doing today? We're going to talk about Newton's laws of motion in our outreach van. Okay. Okay. So right now, this van and everything in it is at rest. And we're going to stay at rest unless we somehow accelerate down the road. Right. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. We've got a, a passenger here who's kind of unbelted. He does have a string, but we're going to okay. see what happens when we accelerate down the road. All right, okay. so we are watching our yellow passenger. Yeah, and okay. ourselves. So. Sure. So we got Sarah in the driver's seat. Sarah, go ahead and just punch it. Floor us. So we moved. We a moved. Okay. Bit. All right, gentle stop, Sarah. And did you notice the balloon initially moved backwards? It did. Just like our bodies did, because we were actually at rest, but the van started to move and the seats actually collided with our bodies. Huh. Right. Pushing us a little forward in the back? Well, yeah, well, kind of. It feels like we get pushed into the seats, yeah. but it's really our bodies at rest and the van runs into us. Huh. Okay. So Same we were thing. never moving. Well, we did. Once, once, once the van caught up to us, then it started pushing us forward. Okay. Okay. Same thing with the balloon. It was initially at rest and it started to move backwards. Sarah, just give us a little burst. See how the balloon comes back? Yep. Okay, gentle stop. So we're going to see what happens, though, if we put a balloon filled with helium gas in front of us. Okay. Okay, because and this one's just blown up with this is regular air. Okay. Everybody's probably experienced this in a car, right? You're in a car, someone floors it. Move your foot for a second. Mm -hmm. you know, a balloon right there. So we have a balloon that's floating. Okay. A balloon that's just hanging in the air, mm -hmm. and we're going to see if there's any difference. And like, what do you think? Will there be a difference? Just because it's floating? I don't know. I, you know, I think that maybe <laughs> this one will be a little bit more grounded. Right. Because I don't know. That's just right. my right. that's my hypothesis. Let's try it. So okay. Sarah, go ahead and punch it. All right, emergency stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Did you wow. see what the balloon did, right? When we accelerated, we got pushed backwards, yes. essentially, but the balloon went forward. It did, it went forward. What's going on? I don't know. Is it just because of the uh, the weight of what's inside, the gas? You're on the right track. Okay. This van is filled with gas. It's filled with air. Yeah. Sarah, go ahead and punch it again. Goes forward. Uh-huh. Emergency stop, quick. Goes back. Wow. Okay, the air inside of the van is actually at rest. When she accelerates, mm -hmm. more air gets back here and up front where they are, mm -hmm. there's a little bit less air. And is that why it's the balloon is dense. drawn that way? Yeah, helium balloons float upwards into the upper atmosphere because uh -huh. it's less dense higher that you go. Huh. Okay, so it's trying to find a place where the uh, density of the air is equal to its density. Which and it is... can do that that quickly. Yeah, yeah. Do it again, Sarah, one more time. And then stop, fast. All the way back. It's just wow. So as cool. I'm thrown forward, as the balloon's forward, coming back. At the balloon me. goes back. So um, we're gonna actually try going through a loop de loop up here and okay. see what happens when we go in a circle with our balloons. Okay. So it looks like the road is clear. Um, and it's kind of a cool thing. You, if you've ever carried party balloons in your car, you've probably noticed this. All right. So brace yourself. Speedy up here in the driver's seat is gonna take us around this loop pretty quick. We're gonna make a left hand turn fast. And they go in op they wow. go in opposite, opposite directions. Opposite directions. And the line connecting them almost even looks the same. It does. It's that. All right. Punch it goes forward and give us a stop and it goes back good thing wow. you're wearing the seatbelt yeah and you can hear my emergency <laughs> yeah pull so in there it's just a really nice demonstration of what happens when you're in an accelerated vehicle okay um, there are these pseudo forces that appear like inside the vehicle we feel like there's a force pushing us back sure but for a person standing outside they realize no their bodies are at rest and the car is just slamming into them wow and who knew that I mean of course we know that there's air in the atmosphere, yeah. but to know that it's all of these reactions dense. are happening yeah, inside you of your van. It's a little bit more dense in the back, less dense in the front. Nothing that, you know, she's not going to pass out up there, but it's enough for the helium balloon to realize that huh. it should move forward to where it's less dense. You know what, Carl? You never cease to amaze <laughs> me. This is the first time everybody survived. We're all good here. And boy, we are definitely showing you something about the, you know, all the cool science behind yeah. something so simple. Absolutely. So simple. Helium balloon in a car. Who would enough? Don't try this at home. <laughs> That's this week's Imagine It.